Developing tonight, a new rule just approved will impact transgender high school athletes across the state. The Georgia High School Association voting today to require students to compete in sports based on the gender assigned at birth. At least 15 states have laws limiting transgender athlete participation in sports. Georgia's own bill failed earlier this year, instead putting the decision in the hands of the GHSA. CBS 46's Savannah Lowy live with the implications of this new rule. Savannah. Yeah, I spoke with one parent of a transgender student today. She tells me she is devastated. This decision is painful, while others warned there could be fallout from the new policy. Everyone assumes that, oh, wait, you got cut from the boys' high school team. Well, just go put on a wig and a dress, and you can play on the girls' team. And that's so far from what every trans person and child is looking to do. Nicole Glaug, a transgender female athlete fierce on the field, now fired up over a unanimous ruling from the Georgia High School Association, preventing transgender students from competing in sports consistent with their gender identity. Okay, we're not talking about people playing for gold medals. Or we're not talking about people playing for professional sports. We're talking about kids who want to play with their classmates. Previously, individual school systems could decide whether an athlete's sex was determined by the sex on their birth certificate. There are some clear uh, federal lawsuits that could be brought, assuming there's a, a student who is denied the opportunity to participate in a certain sport. Emory Law Professor Timothy Holbrook says we could see families take legal action, referencing equal protection violations or Title IX violations. Policy targeting them, making them feel different and making them feel marginal. Uh, and so I, I think that's important to, to emphasize that the discussion has been about fairness, uh, but it's been about fairness only for the cisgender students. Several states have a similar ban, including Alabama, Florida and Tennessee. Amid debate over what's fair, a call from one trans athlete to others. Don't let people steal your happy. You know, yeah, this is it, this sucks. This is a setback, but keep fighting. Some parents who support this ruling say that transgender students have an unfair advantage competing with cisgender students. Meantime, some parents are concerned over the mental health implications that these transgender stu uh, students could face. For now, reporting live from Alpharetta, Savannah Louis, CBS 46 News.